Free space is something like an oxymoron. There's freedom, um, which is um, something of the imagination. It's a, it's a state of mind, if you like. It's certainly nothing tangible, it's not a thing. Whereas um, space, uh, architectural space, is, is obviously something that's physical, that you can touch. Um, architectural space is made through definition, in other words, through making borders, through limiting uh, areas um, out of the potentially unlimited um, space that is surrounding us. And freedom is about the opposite. For architecture, obviously, then the question is, how do you combine those potentially contradictory concepts? What we decided to do here for the Biennale is to create a pavilion in which we're dealing with qualities of surface. And in this, we're working not only with our visual sense, but also addressing our corporeal and uh, haptic senses in how we perceive um, phenomena. In terms of the actual surface treatment, we have two main ideas. One is in the lower part of the pavilion, we have large format photographic images, while on the upper part, we cover the whole upper part of the walls, including the ceiling, in a polychromatic um, pattern whose geometry is chosen to deliberately negate the strict rectilinear geometry of the frame. We're interested in the use of polychromy because polychromy in architecture has, has the power to transcend the surface. This has the effect that the space in which one is, is standing really seems to um, expand. There's photographs that are spanning across several bays of the construction of the pavilion, suggesting you to stand in, um, in actual spaces that are being constructed um, at the moment um, in, in Mester in the M9 uh, Museum District. But apart from this kind of visual um, effect, if you like, um, there's, a, there's a deliberate choice in the materials, um, in that we chose materials that are very tactile, that are inviting you to touch, uh, to hug the building, if you like, um, and to invite you to, in a way, open up your sensuality, your senses to um, your environment. What you get is this sort of sheer solidity of this quite large frame, counteracted by the ephemerality of light coming through this sort of crazy paving pattern. And the light really establishes the difference between the limitation of um, architectural space and the freedom of one's imagination. Therefore, in effect, revealing in our view what we mean by the word free space.